Okay, so let's talk about layering then. Yeah. So do you want to give us specific layering questions or should I just give some kind of um, I think we should just give it, because if I look at the questions that are coming through, they're all following the same kind of theme. They're all coming around, you know, specific room, kind of like a cold room, medium kind of temperature room. Yep. Like, can I use this with the, this? The, our fleece, yep. both the onesie and the jammies, under a sleeping bag, is, yep. that, is that okay? And also, what kind of room temperatures? Like, mm -hmm. could it be paired with the duvet weight? I know when we first yep. talked about it, that would be a we really thought it cozy. would be too warm. Yeah, but too yeah. warm. So let's start with, um, so for my Eddie, who's 10, and he's not, he's not a really cold sleeper, yeah. um, his room, all my kids weirdly sleep with their bedroom doors shut, and so we put the heat pump on downstairs where their bedrooms <laughs> are, and they're like, why are we doing this? Yeah, We're just yeah. heating up the lounge <laughs> downstairs, and their rooms are all cold. Yeah. So his room is, um, but it's, you know, double glazed and all that, so that would probably be, if I was to guess, I'd say probably about 18 and it might get down to 16, maybe. Um, so he's worn the fleece jammies and the onesie a few times. Still not really cold enough at our house, but he's trying valiantly because yeah. he loves it. So, and then he's used this with a duvet over the top. Yeah. And he swears that is very delicious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he's 10, and so yeah. he, if he gets too hot, he'll just take off his top, yeah. and I'll go down and find him stuck yeah. naked when I... <laughs> Like, you know, the, the duvet. <laughs> um, and if the night is cooler, he'll have this on and the duvet. Mm -hmm. So that's for a, not a freezing room. Yeah. And for an older child, yeah. they can moderate their, their temperature. So yeah. for older kids, yeah. you certainly won't need like singlets unless you're like down in, you know, I'm trying to think what's the coldest part of New Zealand. Yeah. We're down. Queenstown, yeah, <laughs> somewhere in a strong yeah. wind, you know, out on the coast somewhere. But for older kids, generally this and their normal bedding will be totally yeah. fine because they'll just kick off their bedding. Or for a lot of kids around that kind of four or five year old, yeah. um, they're often their bedding's falling off and they're clueless. <laughs> but this will be enough to keep most kids warm, even without their bedding. So my so Ayla, my daughter is four, and she will just kind of stick her leg out. So she she's going down to the mini ones at the moment. Yeah. And, that and then duvet and so she has our 400 gram sex store duvet and so she'll just like pull a leg up and like stick it out if, it's hot. <laughs> if, if she gets a bit hot yeah. but she also loves the covers being up really high that's yeah. just the way she sleeps so yeah. it's quite strange she'll have like head under the you know <laughs> leg stick it out yeah. but as you do but she's regulating her own temperature so that's fine yeah. so that's um, for kind of yeah. four, four and upwards just yeah. you know use this you'll need less bedding um you'll need less heating but do remember that um recommended bedroom temperature range is 16 to yeah. 20 degrees with around 18 being optimum but we know New Zealand houses are often freezing and yeah. you know you would be spending thousands of dollars over winter to heat it to 18 so just add you know if you need to you can put another mm -hmm. put a woolly singlet under it or, a, yeah. um, or some socks pop some socks, socks is a really yeah. particularly for kids that um, yeah. kick off the bedding um, or that feel the cold adding socks is often as warming yeah. as adding another layer yeah. to the body that would be for me if I'm cold at night socks would always yeah. be the first thing yeah. that I would do and I think it's great for peace of mind in, the, in those cold mornings with the yeah. kids as well you know when they get up and they've got that yeah Warms on the yeah, particularly if you don't use bath yeah. ro you know, yeah. robes, because yeah. robes are a bit, of a, things, yeah. a bit of a hazard. They dangle yeah. in the breakfast and they, you know, <laughs> they can yeah, be well, flammable. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my older ones, my 15 year old, oh my god. He gets up his shower and then he'll like put his robe on and then he'll be sitting there half an hour before he's due at school and we'll be like, get out of your robe yeah. and put your school uniform <laughs> <Your robe's laughs> on. <laughs> he just loves it. Yeah. Okay, so then when we get into, um, say like a, I don't know, a one year old, yeah. one year old wearing the onesie, mm -hmm. what would you put with it? So you hold the onesie. i hold this one. Yeah. So if the room was freezing, mm -hmm. you could go... So when I say free, freezing, I kind of mean like 16 or below, yeah. even though that we're not meant to talk about rooms that are 16 and below, we do have to be realistic that, yeah. you know, kind of 14, 15 is actually really common in New yeah. Zealand. Yeah. The, the key reason to aim for 16 and over is that your child breathing in cold air dramatically increases your risk of respiratory illness and we know New Zealand has terrible rates of respiratory yeah. illness with kids yeah. so you do have to weigh that up you can layer up their bodies but if it's the cold air they're breathing in that's what the, it causes inflammation yeah. and then viruses and things get into the inflamed lining of your lungs and that. Mm -hmm. 
There's a really interesting study that was all over the media a couple of weeks ago yeah. about that. Yeah. But anyway, so cold room, you could do that. So this is, when we first got the fleece, we were like, oh my God, that would be so hot. You yeah. couldn't do that. <laughs> but then when we thought about it logically, the fleece onesie mm -hmm. is really equivalent to if you were doing two, two light layers. Yeah. Two, well these are actually midway because our merino is thicker than average. Yeah. So this is 220, this is 200, yeah. you know, I don't know if you'd use two onesies or if you'd use pants and a vest or something. An yeah. extra yeah. layer. Yeah. So the fleece is equivalent at 360 grams to a couple of other layers. Yeah. So if you would normally wear at least two layers mm -hmm. of merino, or a merino bodysuit and then a thick cotton yeah. outfit or, and a jumper or something. Yeah. This is just think about this as this is a very thick onesie. Yeah. So at least I would say equivalent to two lighter yeah, two layers. layers. Yeah. So if you're already doing that and you just yeah. want to make it more simple, mm -hmm. then this would work. Yeah. And, and also, yeah, I was just going to say there's questions around the duvet suit or yeah. duvet sleeping bag from yeah. Duvet. Mm -hmm. Here's one I prepared yeah, earlier from go. our other yeah. brand. So, that would so, be so these two winter bags are equivalent. Yeah. So we'll just put that out there. This Because this we've made this so much warmer this year, yeah. these are equivalent in warmth. So you could use either of those in a cold room yeah. instead of all of these other, other things, things. Yeah. not as well as. Yeah. If you were going to use a merino bodysuit and this and this, I'd recommend that if you live in Antarctica, you know, in an yeah. igloo. <laughs> Just jokes, but um, this is probably with a winter weight bag. Mm -hmm. So the same if you have like our 3.5 ton rainbow bags, yeah. which are very cosy. Yeah, very cosy. Um, this with that would give you merino against the skin, but again, that is a very toasty combination. Yeah, toasty. Yeah. So when we're talking about these very toasty combinations, our advice would be don't even look at something like that combination until your child is six, eight, 12 months old. It's not a combination for little babies because it's just too hot. You need to be able to regulate and you need to be able to monitor their temperature and take off layers more easily yeah. than you make your life difficult if yeah. you put them in the thickest suit yeah. in the thickest bag yeah. then you're going to if they're too warm what are you yeah. going to do like yeah. strip them naked in the yeah. freezing cold <laughs> room and then yeah. um start from scratch so whereas for a little one i'd go lighter layers i'd go bodies oh no that's a nighty mm. i'd go <laughs> like um yeah <laughs> i'd go for a for a smaller baby i'd go i'm looking for where the bodysuits are but there's all the sort of new stuff yeah <laughs> i'd go like bodysuit and either a one as you know zip suit or a gown and then I'd go the bag so then if it's too hot mm -hmm. you just are taking off this rather than the whole lot yeah. or the swat um, if you're using bedding the blanket and these yeah. or if you're swaddling the swaddle so something like a miracle blanket or wrapped in a merino with two light merinos yeah Oops, I've destroyed your beautiful display, <laughs> sorry about that. So then if you're not in such a hot room, if you're in um, probably more like, I don't know, I'm not very good with the actual temperatures, I would say not a freezing cold yes. room. So yeah. somewhere around that yeah. 18. Yeah. Um, yeah. And maybe you already, we often get this question about what's the bag that you could use all year round. Yeah. Well, if you already have a three seasons wool bag and you're really happy with it, but you need to boost up how warm it is, mm -hmm. then that actually we think is a really yeah. good combination. That turns it into a winter weight yeah. mm -hmm. combination and mm -hmm. it utilises the bag. Of course, please buy another bag, yeah. keep us in business. <laughs> but you know, if you've already got all three seasons wool yeah. bag, you could just add that rather than buy a winter bag. Exactly. And yeah. pop some socks on if yeah. you need to, if we've got yeah. really cold. Exactly. Really yeah. And if, again, if, if it's still not warm enough, add a bodysuit. Mm -hmm. So then, yeah. you know, that would be... And this is kind of, um, you know, there's a lot of talk about this kind of like measuring and, you know, should you be measuring the exact temperature of your child and all these questions from people wanting the exact, you know, yeah. exact garments, yeah. like on your clothing guide, what weight of... Mer you know, is it cotton? Is it merino? What about da, 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 da. Yeah. You know, really, we want you to just kind of use your judgment and use your common sense. Yeah. Look at your babies, measure. You know, assess if they're too warm or too cold. Yeah. Um, and that is the thing as well about the merino, right? Like yeah. it's gonna, it's breathable, and um, yeah. 
you know, it's not going to get clammy and stuffy. No, you know, it stays so comfy. Just... And if you kind of go in at, um, you know, at 10 o'clock at night or whatever and, and they're too hot, then take a layer off. Yeah. If they're cold, put another layer on or yeah. swap your bag for a warmer one. It's often yeah. easier than changing the clothes. Yes. But if you were in a cooler room, you've got this bag, you don't want to buy another bag, um, you could add that suit and then if it's still not warm enough, put a body suit. Yeah. And this is, um, we'll come to this new yeah. yeah. show. I'm getting yeah. questions on it. Oh, what are, <laughs> what are we doing? We'll come to that soon. We'll come to that soon. <laughs> so does that kind of cover I the think sort of hood? Yeah. I, think, I think it gives us an idea. It talks about how the new double layer is kind of similar to the wall wave duvet weight. Yeah. And then the different kind of ideas. I think, like as you say, you just got to... Got to use your mummy judgment. Yeah. Daddy yeah. judgment. Layer you know, and, the, and, and you know, a little baby will start letting you know, right? Like it's that preset, you know. That's when yep. we've got to be extra vigilant. But yeah. once they get older, they'll they'll say, "I'm too hot. I'm too cold." They'll take yeah. their stuff off. And I think if you have a look, um, just pull that onesie back out again. Um, so like this is our zip suit, which we get so much love for because it's this specially knitted, just lusciously soft. We all just go, whoa. We were talking yesterday about should we just ditch this and, and just make stripes in this new collection, but we were all like, oh, that's so nice. So, soft. <laughs> so this is 220 grams of merino, and this is 360. So if you're yeah. already familiar with this garment, um, which we've made for years now in various stripes, and last year we did, we've done patterns and yeah. things, but the stripe the is one. the one that you mostly love, yeah. so that we just dropped all the patterns. Yeah. Um, this is equivalent to about one and a half of these, mm -hmm. or if you buy your merino somewhere else, that makes it thinner and cheaper. Like a cheap merino is often 160 yeah. or 180 grams, so this is double yeah. what cheap merino is. Yeah. So I think that's, just think about it as a like a, one and a half to two yeah. equivalent of that. So when you're looking at any clothing guides, when it says two layers, you're already there yeah. with two layers yeah. with yeah. that one. And the microns as well. Everything's 19.5 microns, which is a um, an extra fine micron. Whereas you know department stores or high high street chains, they'll use 21. Um, yeah, uh, and so then that's less fine. So there's less um, area to trap. Um, Less area to track that. Like so, that. Yeah. so it'll be warmer. Yeah, with the manga. Yeah, with the manga. Yeah, with the manga. 